In this example, I need to solve the following equation on the interval 0 to 360 degrees. Here's my equation, 2 times cosine squared x times sine x equals cosine squared x. Well, what type of equation do we have here? Notice it's a trigonometric equation, and you might be tempted to divide both sides by cosine squared x, which would definitely simplify the equation, but if you did that, you would lose some of your solutions. Well, what type of trigonometric equation do we have? Well, it's one that has two trig functions in it, the cosine of x and the sine of x. And the simplest way to solve those, if it works, is by factoring. Does it look like it's going to work in this case? If I get everything on one side, then I'm only going to have two terms and they will have a common factor that I can factor out. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to subtract cosine squared x from both sides. And on the left-hand side, I have unlike terms. I can't combine them. So I have 2 cosine squared x times sine x minus cosine squared x equals cosine squared x minus cosine squared x equals 0. Now, does this factor? There are only two terms, and is there a greatest common factor? Yes, cosine squared x. So I'm going to factor that out. So I'm going to get cosine squared x, and if I factor it out of the first term, it's going to leave 2 times sine x. Minus, if you factor a cosine squared x out of a cosine squared x, it has to leave the placeholder of 1. So I'm just going to get minus 1 equals 0. So now it's factored. We set each factor equal to 0. Cosine squared x equals 0. And 2 sine x minus 1 equals 0. So now if cosine squared x equals 0, cosine x equals plus or minus the square root of 0. And what's plus or minus the square root of 0? It's just 0. So the first one just gives me cosine x equals 0. And the second factor, if I add 1 to both sides, I get 2 sine x equals positive 1. Divide both sides by 2 and I get sine x equals positive one half. So now I'm going to need to use my unit circle. So here's my unit circle. And my first solutions are going to come from when the cosine of x equals zero. Remember, for all points on the unit circle, the x coordinate is the cosine of theta and the y coordinate is the sine of theta. So cosine x equals zero means I need to look for x coordinates that are zero. Well, x coordinate is zero here at 90 degrees and the x coordinate is also zero here at 270 degrees. So my first solution two solutions are x equals 90 degrees and x equals 270 degrees. Because remember, this problem asks for solutions in degrees. Now the second set of solutions come from the sine of x equals a half. So since this is the sine function, it's going to be the y-coordinate I need the y to be positive a half. That means it's going to be above the x-axis. And looking around my unit circle, y is equal to one half here at 30 degrees. And then going around the unit circle, y is also equal to a half at 150 degrees. So my other solutions are x equals, the first one here is 30 degrees, 
and the second one was 150 degrees. So this equation has four solutions in the interval 0 to 360 degrees.